What's going on, you guys? I'm as always, Mr. Green Reformed 2 with Dark Knight 97. What's up, guys? And welcome to Rip from the Silver Screen. Yes. Tonight, 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 me and Dark Knight 97 are going back to 1974 with the with the with the horror film classic, the 1974 classic, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes. Now the film was directed by the late Toby Hooper. It stars Marilyn Burns, Alan Denziger. Terry Mc McMinn, the late Gunnar Hansen, and John Dugan. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, this is the first horror film, uh, or slasher, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, involving Leatherface. That's right. And Leatherface has been on a really weird journey. Since it 1974. <laughs> it has. It has. Um, for those of you who do not know the the history, the long history of Leatherface, this has uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is is for a number of years has been has been a cult classic mm -hmm. among horror fans. That's right. Because of the violence. Because of the the psychotic the the psych the psychotic uh, vi visuals involved in this film. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And not to mention the way they not to mention Leatherface was they turned him. Oh. Mm. I'll get to that. I'll get to that one later. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the the 1994 one was not good. No, it wasn't. The, the one the so called next generation. Yeah. We'll get to that later. We will. Uh, because I did not like it. Because they mm -hmm. turned, because in that one they turned Leatherface into a fucking pussy. <laughs> Jeez. But in the and well, we'll talk about mm -hmm. the we'll talk about the spinoff too. They came out a year ago, uh, Leatherface. Mm -hmm. uh, um, which I don't I don't think he's seen before. It's supposed to be like a prequel to the to this one. Oh, about. Yeah, about the about the Sawyer family. Yeah, it actually came on TV, sci-fi actually, yeah. and actually saw the other face movie, so we have seen it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about that one later. Yeah, we will. But uh, just so you know, uh, Toby Hooper and Gunnar Hansen uh, tragically passed away uh, mm -hmm. a few years ago, uh, and you know. What better way to what better way to talk about their legacy then, than to talk about the first one, the first? Yes. People, uh, people. I don't know. If, I don't know if I don't know if Michael Myers uh, was the first slasher, mm -hmm. or if Leatherface was the short first slasher. Mm -hmm. But I think some people would agree. Some people would agree that they are the two top slashers. That made the horror genre. That made the slasher genre what it is today. Yes, yes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to through the. We're gonna go through the uh, the plot, mm -hmm. like we always do here on Ripped, or how we always do on regular movie reviews that we do. Of course. Um, and we're gonna and and we're gonna give our thoughts. We're gonna give our. Uh, we're gonna have a discussion here. Yep. On the on the. Uh, on the film as well, and then we're, uh, and also we're going to talk about some sort of we're going to talk about the legacy, mm -hmm. uh, and how we feel about the the other films uh, for this John for this uh, franchise. That's right. So okay, so the movie starts as uh, Hal Sally Hardesty mm -hmm. and her paraplegic brother Franklin travel with three friends Jerry Kirk and Pam to visit the grave of the hardest. Hardesty's uh, grandfather to investigate reports of res suspected vandalism and grave robber, ra grave robbing. Mm. Afterwards, they decide to visit the old Hardesty family homestead. Along the way, they pick up a hitchhiker who talks about his family who worked at the old slaughterhouse. He borrows Franklin's pocket knife and cuts himself. Yeah, I remember that. The hitchhiker. Oh gosh. Uh, then takes a single Polaroid picture of Franklin for which he demands the money. When they refuse to pay, he burns the photo and slashes Franklin's left arm with a straight razor. Yikes. 
but group forces him out of the van and drive on they stop at a gas station to refill their vehicle but the proprietor tells them that the pumps are empty okay first of all i want to i want to go i want to i want to talk about this real quick sure the 2009 Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the one with, uh, what's her fucking face? Uh, Jessica Biel, I think it is. Yeah, Jessica, Jessica Biel. Yes. Was so different. Mm-hmm. Because you remember the hitchhiker well, is a woman in sure. this one. Mm-hmm. And she went complete, and, and there's a part about the spoilers, by the way. Mm-hmm. I don't know how, I don't know how you guys would never, or you guys would not remember this. But spoilers, by the way, anyway. Okay. Um... She ended up. She didn't want to go back to the house because mm-hmm. something happened. That's right. When they found her on the street, she when they found her on the side of the road. Mm-hmm. Um, and the difference between this one, this one, and the 2009 one mm-hmm. was that 2009 one. There, the group was a little goofy. Right. They were gonna go see the Nirvana concert. These people were gonna go visit. Uh. Mm-hmm. uh the uh, uh, the uh, Grandpa. grandfather's grave. That's right. Uh, so that's the difference. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but yeah. Um, so yeah, the hitchhiker in this one was kind of really, really, really psychotic. No, yeah, it was. <sighs> but. The, what I liked about the original, what I liked about the 2009 one is that mm-hmm. you could feel for the lady mm-hmm. in the back of the uh, when, they, yeah. when they picked her up because she was scared out of her mind. Yeah, like she'd been through hell. Yeah, like she'd been through hell. Um, and it's and what I love about what I love about that one is is that you can. Um, uh, what I love about that one is what they did with the the uh, the bullet hole. Yeah. How they panned out. Yeah. You see that you see how it pans out is that you start with the friends. You start with the friends and they slowly pans out going right to the bullet hole where she uh, pulled the trigger into herself mm-hmm. right out the back of the window. Jeez. I have never seen it done like that. <laughs> and that's here. visually good. Yeah. That is visually amazing. But we're going to talk about this one. Yeah. Okay. So... Okay, so they continue to the homestead and intending to return to the gas station once it was received a fuel uh, delivery. When they arrive, Franklin tells Kirk and Pam about a local swimming hole and the couple go to find it. They stumble upon a nearby house and Kirk calls out for gas, entering through the unlocked door while Pam waits outside. Leatherface suddenly appears and kills Kirk with a hammer. Oh my God! Oh goodness! God. Yeah, let's talk about that scene real quick. Oh, oh, oh. that was the most he when he hit him <coughs> when he hit him with that damn hammer. Mm-hmm. You see, you could see that he was twitching. Oh, his whole body twitched, started twitching, and it, it was the brutal. It was some some brutal shit. Uh, that. What happened to him? But anyway, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, Let's see here. where am I? Okay, Pam enters soon. Pam enters soon after and and trips into a room filled with furniture made from human bones. Oh, the dinner scene! Shit, it's coming. Up. She attempts to flee, but Leatherface catches her and impales her on a meat hook, <laughs> making her watch as she he butchers Kirk with a chainsaw. Jerry heads out to look for Pam and Kirk outside. He sees the house and finds Pam still alive inside the freezer. Before he can react, Leatherface kills him. Mm-hmm. With Nardness falling, Sally and Franklin set to set out to find their friends as they near the neighboring house and call out. Leatherface lunges from the darkness and kills Franklin with a chainsaw. Sally runs toward the house, find a desiccated remains of an elderly couple upstairs. She escapes from Leatherface by jumping through a second floor window and flees to the gas station. The proprietor comes her with offers to help of help, but then ties her up and gags her and forces her into his truck. He drives to the house after arriving at the time as the hitchhiker now revealed as Leatherface's brother. 
The hitchhiker recognizes Sally and taunts her. <laughs> the men torment the bound and gag Sally while Leatherface, now dressed as a woman, oh god, <laughs> serves dinner. Leatherface and the hitchhiker bring down one of the desiccated bodies from upstairs, that of their grandpa. He is revealed to be alive when he sucks blood from from a cut on Sally's finger. They decide that Grandpa, the best killer in the old slaughterhouse, should kill Sally. He tries to hit her with a hammer, but he is too weak. In the ensuing struggle, she breaks free, leaps through a window, and flees to the road. Leatherface and the hitchhiker give chase, but the latter is run over, killing, killed by a passing truck. Leatherface attacks a tra- truck with his chainsaw. When, when the driver stops to help, he knocks Leatherface down with a pipe wrench causing the chainsaw to cut his leg. <clears throat> the driver flees and Sally escapes in the back of the passing tr- truck as Leatherface monocally flails his chainsaw in the air. Yeah, yeah. And that's the end of Leather- the, first of the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, yes. so we're going to talk about this and how it precedes the 2009 version. Mm-hmm. Now, there's differences, oh, wait. major differences, yes. between the 2009 version and, and the 1974 version. <laughs> um... <laughs> Let's start first with the with the heroine, the the lead, the lead chick, which I believe her name is Sally, if I remember correctly. Sally. Now, she comes across as, you know, one of the good girl types and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But what I liked about Jessica Biel's character in the the two thousand nine version, mm-hmm. she fought back. Oh yeah. This woman here. Uh, did not, uh, uh, you know, she was she was trying to play the damsel in distress and stuff if like that. Yeah. And um, but I don't. I I I I like I like Sally. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna say that that the chick that played her uh, was was you know did do a good job. Not to mention the fact. Not to mention the fact that I come to find out that they really cut her. They really, they really cut her on the set of of this. Yeah. Um. And you know, I. What did you think of the movie, by the way? <laughs> well, I, I I thought it was a classic. It was good, you know. Um. And like, like I said, you know, not taking away from not taking away nothing from you know this girl here. You know, she was. Rather, in it has an eye version, you know, just gonna be able, she, she said, she said it herself, she fought back, and and here, you know, not not taking a minute from her, you know, she, she, you know, was just, it's just friends around a simple trip going to see, you know, uh, uh, her grandfather's gravesite, you know, visit the gravesite, and it turns into a nightmare, you know, I was a little like that, you know, you and your friends on a road trip go through Texas, but you never make it to where you're going, you never do what you want to do because you end up. Dead, basically. And yeah. Yeah. So. So yeah. Yeah. The difference. The, uh, I, I I I hate. I I don't like. I don't want to go back to the to the to the uh, 2009 movie. Mm-hmm. No. But there was some. The the difference was between this and the 2009 version. Yeah. Was is that they were going to go to a Leonard Skinner concert? That's right, a concert. You yes. know, the bunch of hippies going to Leonard Skinner and stuff of like that. Yeah. This one they they're gonna go do they were gonna go do something right they're gonna go to do something yeah, good exactly you know mm-hmm. not get drunk at some damn concert no no yeah, yeah. but I felt what they did with Leatherface mm-hmm. uh, I love how they changed the mask yes when he sir when he's when he's dressed as a woman even though I didn't even though I kind of even though I kind of didn't like that all that much but you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was still it was still kind of killer that they that what they how they how they made him how they made him out to be that's right uh, not to mention that uh, and I'm glad that and um, I was happy with the last part of the movie mm-hmm. when she goes okay she was she's running away from she's running away from the brother in Leatherface mm-hmm. and she's trying to get the fuck out she's trying to get the fuck out of the house mm-hmm. she's trying to escape out of the house her best friends have already been killed and murdered yeah. already mm-hmm. the one of the um, 
I think it's the cousin. I would like to say, I don't know. Uh, let me see. Hold on real quick, guys. Because my mind is all not. Yeah, hey, remember this. You know, uh, let me see if I can find uh, who they played. I uh, have to go up to cast or let's see that one. Well, the cast is here, but I want to want to find out who exactly they played. Because I don't really remember cast casting. I click there. See. Okay, so all right, here it is. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm trying to remember who exactly it was. I think it was Drayton. I don't know if it was Drayton or or uh, <laughs> Grandpa Sawyer. The narrator. I forget who exactly it was. I forget who exactly it was. They were trying to. They, he was he was a uh, the guy that was sitting next to the hitchhiker. Oh, uh, the old the, not the grandfather. No, no, no. Uh, because I because because Leatherface was sitting on this side of the room. Right. When when uh when they had her in the dining room scene, so remember? Yeah, I remember. Um. They made him in, in the Leatherface in the Leatherface uh one. They made him out to be, uh, I think it was Drayton. Yeah. If I remember correctly, I, I think. So. Yeah. They were made. They had made him out to be uh, his. Um, in the. In the. Um, the prequel. They had made him out to be like some uh, a stone cold killer and stuff like that. Yep. But in this one, you could see that he didn't want to do it. Mm-hmm. You can see that he didn't want to. So, so kind of. So, we'll we'll talk about the 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 one from the 2017 version uh, another day. Yeah, we will. But um, cause I got a lot to say about that. Yeah, definitely. Um, but what were uh, da, 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 da. okay? Um, okay, so. Leatherface, I like how they, I like how they, how he, they put him together. <laughs> I like how he, how they, how his character. I love how Gunnar Hansen played him. Um, and then we get the chainsaw dance. <laughs> yes, yes. The the legendary chainsaw dance that Gunnar Hansen said that if Toby Hooper <laughs> that the director that if the director was any closer he would have killed him right oh. then and there oh my god I guess they hated each other I for some strange odd reason or, or something. I don't, I don't know what the deal is yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying that it's a confirmed that they hated each other but but I have no idea yeah let me, let me know in the comments section down below that well, they yeah. hate each other in yeah. real life. Tell us another like, give us an insight. Uh, but um, but yeah, I felt like this this had that psychedelic feel to it. Uh, uh, this was a you could tell that it was an exploitation film that it was that yeah. it was a psychotic horror film. Yep, and stuff like that. And I loved every minute of it. Oh yeah, I loved. <coughs> I. From the very beginning, I kind of wish that they could have, they could have done a little. They, I, I kind of wish though that they could have done some, some other things mm -hmm. with the film. Um, but I, did I have a problem with it? No, mm -hmm. I didn't have no problem whatsoever with, <clears throat> with this film, <clears throat> the 1974 uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm -hmm. But it is. Very different from the 2009 version. Very, very, very. Um, and we'll go around and and before we go, before we before we show you guys the rating that me and him thought about, mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about the legacy yes. of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The, the this whole thing, this whole thing is based on the actual murders by uh by serial killer Ed Gein. Yeah, that's right. Um. Ed Gein was a sick, psychotic motherfucker. Yes, he was. Uh, that murdered. That if you've ever read anything into the murders and stuff like that for Ed Gein and and stuff like that, but 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 this film, 
like many others, is considered to be one of the greatest. Mm-hmm. Most controversial for reasons unbeknownst to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, this has to be one of the most greatest horror film horror films. Yeah. To ever come out in cinema. Definitely. Definitely. And I think me and you would agree mm-hmm. that this film deserves a 10 out of 10. Yes. you damn right it's going to be 10 out of 10 because this film, this film, I have it without the highs. Un- this film began in 1974. Yeah. So, Leatherface began the slasher genre. Yeah, he did. And this had to be the one one of the most greatest films to ever come out in the history of cinema. Mm-hmm. We have seen we've seen uh, we've seen you know other horror films like Alfred Hitchcock's uh, Psycho or mm-hmm. The Birds and stuff like that, but never before in the history of cinema have you seen uh, something more me. brutal and more horrific than the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's right. And that's why this film earns a 10 out of 10 for me in Dark Knight Night at 7. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I I love this film. I so did does too. he. I did too. And, you know, uh, what I like to say, what I what I want to say is that Gun, Gunnar Hansen and Toby Cooper, they, they did one hell of a job with yes, this film. Did. Yes, they did. And I commend them for it. Same and, here. by the way, rest in peace. Yes, indeed. Uh, their memories will never be forgotten. Never, never. Uh but yeah, I, I, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre will be that is always going to be the top most horrific uh, film in the history of horror. Yes. So let us know in the comments section what did you like any of the sequels? Did what sequel do you did you like? Uh, did you think the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of sucked, or did you like the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Let us know in the comments section down below. Uh, that's going to be it for me. I am Mr. Grimmer from the 2. And Dr. 97. And we will see you all in the afterlife. Peace. Peace.